On this episode of Fixer Fab, we freeze. Welcome back. We're doing another. Oh, we need to turn that on. Better. All right, we're going to start moving the toolbox in. Okay, we got the frame done. Man, that is pretty solid. I like it. Let's go to Lowe's and get some plywood. And we're back. We got the workbench split. Backboard, I gotta cut out a spot for the outlet. Oh, you know, we do need more lights. I'm gonna put one over the bench here. But yeah, so let's put the bench top on and then we'll put the back piece on. All right, and we've got the board up. I can't reach up here, so I'll wait till I get a ladder. Um, I wanna build cabinets. Um, I bought plans from another YouTuber, I can't remember. If I remember, I'll put in the description. Uh, but yeah, I mounted my chargers. I think I'll put an outlet for these to go into. I'll put a power strip on there. Uh, oh, we went. I got stuff to run through 20, at least one outlet to get us by. Um, the landlord or whatever was supposed to put them in, but um, I'm going to try and put this one in right below the box. So let's get the cover off and see what we got. Okay, so my plan was going to work. I didn't realize the box was flush mounted. I want to run, run the conduit on the outside. Um, I don't really want to, we're not staying here, so, like, I'm putting this in here, I want to take it with me when we're done, All right, so, that's the plan, so I'll have to, for some reason, Lowe's was sold out of one inch PVC conduit, so I want to run underneath, all the way down, to a junction here, 
and then uh, come in the box and I'll get three breakers because I want one for the welder. I take weld will be over there. Powder coating oven will be over there. I'll have one over there. And then the air compressor, I might hardwire that in the wall just uh, just to be nice. So, but yeah, nice workbench. I still got to screw that down, maybe glue it. I obviously cannot measure. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't. Good thing this isn't a wood channel, huh? Um, yeah, so let's get started on the Dakota. We're back for the next day. I'm not sure where I left you off at, but shelf is done, toolbox is in place, put my cabinet over there. Like I said, it's got the paint, chemicals, oil. Um, I'm going to get some cabinets for the top. I may build them. I don't know. I'm kind of limited in time. Uh, what else was there? Um, uh, yeah, I want to paint that, paint that, put a light underneath of it so it's nice and bright. Um, let's see, while we were gone, and while you were gone, I guess only a few minutes. So I just had these covers on there to keep debris out while it sat outside during the winter. I did get these done. These are just painted, uh, same paint as I painted the engine block. Um, and then ICT billet coil covers or brackets. I lost most of the bolts for this, as you can tell, so I got some scraps. I'm gonna try and go on the Ebays and order a bunch of these. I really like these flanged bolts. They're really nice, I like those. So, or some of those, so let's, and I got the plugs off the go-kart, which these were supposed to go on the truck, but I ended up getting the go-kart running first, so. All right, let's, uh, let's do some work. You notice on the other valve cover, but I TIG welded on a dash 10 bunk too. So there's dash 10 for the crankcase and then dash 6 for the oil return from the turbo. All right, I am pretty happy with that. I think that looks really good. Kind of gives it that Hellcat vibe a little bit. Um, Cause the Hellcat's the same. The orange valve covers, orange block, and then bare aluminum heads. Yeah, I am digging that. All right, I think that is it. <laughs> if this video sucks, it is completely my fault because I've completely lost track of what I'm doing and what I'm saying and what I'm recording. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure we worked on the workbench. Got that done. We swapped on the new valve covers, coils, brackets, some of the wires on. I gotta take the manifold off on this side to trim the back of the control arm there. It looks like it might hit. Uh, mounted up the brake booster. It's nice and tight now. 
got plenty of room for the coil wire. Uh, I went under inside. I tightened the uh, nuts <clears throat> for the brake booster and the clutch slave. Slave? No, clutch master. I got the new sign put up. Friends at work got me. You know, my talked about that paint and chemicals. Got a getting ready to run 220 for the TIG welder. The TIG welder will be over here. MIG will be under here. Uh, the reason I didn't go to the workbench all the way over is because of the gas bottle. Uh, that'll be taller than that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to paint this white. I'm going to put my toolbox um, cabinets up there. This will be storage. I'm not sure what yet. Uh, this is going to get torn down eventually. It's just a kind of workstation for me or whoever needs to use it. Uh, yeah, so... Unplug this. Yeah, buddy. I'm excited. Well, I need my hat. Can't go without the hat. All right, it is colder than shit in here. <laughs> uh, it's snowing out right now. But anyways, uh, let's talk about future projects. See, we have to finish the Dakota. Uh, this is... Ryan's the guy with the turbo G body his dad's help me here 67 old 442 uh, we got to finish a shifter on it hook that up I think we got to do the exhaust and I got to bend up some hard lines brake hard lines then we got Kenny's car we're gonna do powder coating on this uh, let's see I think it's cold side we got a powder coat Oh, the compressor, compressor housing, got a new turbo on it. Um, I think we got to tweak his trans brake, maybe. I don't remember. And then, Kerry C10, he's putting a 5.3 junkyard race motor in it. He's got a built turbo 400 for it. We got to do uh, floor pans and stuff. He's got a channel his kids called... Uh, Gearhead Jr. I'll link that in the description as well. But yeah, um, mostly got to do. Like I said, this is going to go away eventually. Powder coat oven, spray booth for the powder coating. Um, man, I would really like to put tin up here in insulation. But like I said, we're not staying here. But I don't know. We'll see. I got a lot of stuff to do. Anyways, I'm going to take this back home and get it ready for bringing the oven out. Yeah, it is shittier than shit out. Look at that. It's snowing. All right, so that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. This is Fix or Fast.